Hey guys, Dark Derek here again. This time I've got a battle against Jay Bean from Smogon. I'm using a brand new team now because my last team, well, obviously Latias was banned, which means I can't use it now. So, uh, hopefully this team does its job well. Anyways, he leads Metagross and I lead with, uh, Yon Mega. I'm gonna go for my Hidden Power Ground here. It does a little bit more than half to Metagross, which is nice. And he uses Ice Punch, which sucks. But, for magically, I live it. I don't even know how Yon Mega can live that, but I don't really care, to be honest. Uh, I get my speed boost, I'm going to go for another Hidden Power Ground, which will take out Metagross. So, yep. Yeah. Felt like putting a little background music for you guys. Anyways, he's going to go to Scissor now, and I can't switch out, because we set up Stealth Rocks, I don't have any Rapid Spinners on this team, so there's no point in me keeping him, uh, uh, switching him out, so... He just takes a Bullet Punch and dies. So now I'm going to go to Gliscor. He's going to go to his own Gliscor, I set up Stealth Rocks on the Switch. Now I'm going to taunt him, because I run an extra speed EVs on this one to make sure that I outspeed almost all forms of Gliscor. So now I'm going to go to uh, Ludicolo, as he switches out to Zapdos, who gets a lot of damage taken off from Stealth Rocks. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt, because everybody underestimates how high Ludicolo's special defense is. It does nothing, and I get to Leech Seed him. Sap some health off. Get some lefties. He's going to go for a T-Wave now, uh, I guess maybe to just get some Parahacks, and I'm going to go for Ice Beam to get some damage on it. Does a decent amount, I mean, I get the Freeze, but it, that doesn't matter at all, because he thaws out next turn anyways, so, you know, whatever. As you can see, he thaws out and he gets to go for Roost. Luckily, I predicted that he might thaw out, so I just went for Surf instead of Ice Beam that turn. Still doesn't really do all that much, so he must be running like a specially defensive Zapdos or something. Either that or I'm underestimating Zapdos. So anyways, I'm going to switch out now because I'm pretty sure he was going to go for Roost again, but instead he goes for Thunderbolt as I switch it to Rampardos. But uh, luckily Rampardos lives it because of his high HP stat. Get some Leech Seed health back. He's going to switch out now, smart move, and he goes going to go to Heatran. Not a very smart move, because obviously I was going to use a rock move, so I don't really know why you'd go to Heatran, but whatever. So, now Stone Edge absolutely rapes Heatran, but he still lives because Heatran's bulky. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse now. Again, don't really know why you wouldn't just go for Fire Blast. It probably would have killed Rampardos, and probably would have hurt uh, Ludicolo a lot more, but whatever. So now he's going to go to Spiritomb, as I set up another Leech Seed. Sap some more health off. Alright, so now I'm going to go to Manly Flower, my Vile Plume, and he taunts me, which sucks a little bit, but that's alright. I can still, you know, do some damage to it. I'm going to go for my Hidden Power Fire here. I don't even know why I carry Hidden Power Fire on him. I should really replace that with Aromatherapy, but whatever. Anyway, so now he burns me, just to get some extra damage on Manly Flower. He's going to go for Sucker Punch now, smart move, and it does a ton and I go for Sludge Bomb, and I wasn't even paying attention, so I didn't even realize that that wasn't very effective. That was stupid. Although it's also kind of stupid that, well, actually no, it makes a little bit of sense that Ghost would be immune to poison. You can't really poison a ghost. So I guess it does make a little bit of sense. And again, since I wasn't paying attention, I wasn't able to use Energy Ball, which probably would have killed him at that point. So now he gets the Pain Split me, which sucks a lot. But, uh, that's okay. Get hurt by my burn. My Taunt wears off, and I guess he wasn't paying attention either. Because I'm going to go for Sleep Powder this turn, because I know he's going to either try to go for Sucker Punch... Actually, just kidding. I attack, because I know that I can live a Sucker Punch. Ah, oh, that's why. I know I can live a Sucker Punch from him if he did go for it. So I go for Energy Ball, and he Pain Splits again. He's trying to lower me down to a point where he can Sucker Punch and kill me, but again, I don't think he saw my Taunt, the, uh, taunt wearing off. So that means that I can go for a Sleep Powder now, and he doesn't need to go for Sucker Punch, as I get to put him to sleep with Sleep Powder. Maybe he just thought I wasn't even, didn't even carry a uh, non-attacking move, which would be silly. So now that he's asleep, I could just beat his ass. Uh, I'm going to switch out to Rampardos, because I thought he'd go to, um, you know, yeah, either Heatran or something else. What do I do? I switch out, because I'm pretty sure that Scarf Heatran is faster than Rampardos, and I don't want Rampardos to die. So, I go to Ludicolo, especially since Ludicolo can just wall Heatran all day anyways. So now he's going to go for Dragon Pulse. I get Parahex. Whatever, you know, who cares. I switch out, I don't know why. I thought I thought Dragon Pulse would do a lot less to Relicanth, because he has almost max HP, but it rapes the hell out of him, which sucks, a lot. Relicanth, you failed me again. So now he goes for Dragon Pulse as I switch back out to Ludicolo. So, I just wasted a huge chunk out of Ludicolo's health for no reason. That was stupid. 
I'm sorry, Ludicolo, that was my fault. So now I surf and kill the Heatran. He's gonna go to Scissor now for the obvious revenge kill. As he bullet punches. I'm hoping I live that, that'd be funny, so then I could leech seed him, but no, I die. So now I'm gonna go to Gliscor, because I know he can't touch Gliscor. He goes to his own Gliscor. And I went for Earthquake. Didn't think he was gonna switch, but, you know, whatever. So now I'm gonna taunt again. Again, he went for Rock Polish. Don't understand why, but whatever. So now I'm gonna go to Vile Plume now, because I figure it's the least useful to me. And he's gonna go switch out to Zapdos. I just went to Death Fodder so I could get the revenge kill going on, or something. He's gonna go for Heat Wave, and that will quite obviously take down Vile Plume. Nothing really matters, I sort of sent it out as Death Fodder anyways. So now I'm gonna go to Rampardos for the revenge kill. He switches out, he's gonna go to Gliscor. And I freaking missed my Stone Edge, which sucks. Now I know he's gonna try to predict me switching out, so now I'm gonna go for Stone Edge again. See, if I hit with that first one, I would've killed him. So now he's gonna go for Rock Polish, and this sucks a lot, because now he's faster than me. So, like, but luckily, he goes for Swords Dance. I don't really know why he did that. I guess he was, either he was trying to make up for the fact that I missed the first Stone Edge, or he was being way too greedy, because that allows me to kill him. So now he's gonna go to Scissor, and I know that my only chance of doing this is that Gliscor, I need to take out, he, his remaining Pokemon is Zapdos, Scissor, and, um, that's Sleeping Spirit to him, which doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to go to Bonehead. This is a misclick. I meant to go to Gliscor here, which means I just wasted a good amount of Gliscor's health. So my only chance of doing this is to switch this scissor out, is to threaten it out, and make it so that he goes to Zapdos so I can kill it, because if Rampardos dies and he still has Zapdos left, I can't win. Luckily, he does fall for my ploy as I switch out to Rampardos when he goes to Zapdos. I'm just going to go to Fire Punch. I'm just going to go for Fire Punch to make sure I kill it. Zapdos goes to, do, does go down to my clever ploy. He's going to go to Scissor. At this point, I don't need Rampardos anymore because this game is mine. Uh, he's going to Bullet Punch, and that will take down Rampardos with a meaningless critical. I mean, of course, as long as he gets a crit. So now I'm going to go to Gliscor, and I'm going to Roost because I thought he'd just try to Bullet Punch again. Maybe he'd Life Orb stall himself, but he goes for Roost too. Which, you know, whatever. At least I'm at full health. So now I'm going to Taunt him because uh, I know this is, this is a sword Dance Scissor, and I don't want him sword Dancing because that would suck a lot. So now that he's Taunted, the best he can do is Bullet Punch. I go for Earthquake. And that will take down Scissor with a critical. Not like the, I'm pretty sure that crit didn't matter. Might have, but I doubt it. And even if it did, I could have taken another bullet punch anyways. So now he comes in comes Spear to him, and I can just Earthquake that for the win. So, uh, really good game, Jay Bean. Uh, that was really close. I thought I was going to lose that for a while. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, sorry it's been so long since I made a video, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, uh, hopefully this new team is nice for you guys, and I'm, I plan on battling some more. So, uh, Dark Derek out.